Why do predators always die in like every movie they're in? This is one of the main questions asked by fans all over. If the interstellar high-tech alien hunter is so deadly, then why does it die in like every movie? So besides plot armor, we will tell you how and why they were killed. So let's get to it. The Jungle Hunter Let's start with the OG, the first of these ruthless killing machines. At some point of time, prior to 1987, the Jungle Hunter began hunting humans he considered worthy prey in the jungles of Guatemala. He was near unkillable, deadly and invisible and armed with plasma cannons, wrist blades, bio helmet and a cloak. Although nearly killing everyone, he was eventually lured into a trap by Dutch who figured out how to stay invisible on thermal scans by rubbing wet mud all over his body. Anyway, he used this tactic to lure the predator into a carefully laid trap but was almost killed if not for a lucky chance that allowed him to cripple the predator with a huge log of wood. And that's how the first predator was defeated with plain luck. Next, the city hunter. As for the second one, he was more or less like the original but equipped with a vast array of weaponry and operated in the dense urban settlement of Los Angeles. He is a good hunter, but he's still a young hunter and overconfident. He became over enthusiastic as his quest in Los Angeles went on, casually attacking and killing any armed people he came across. A government task force group called the OWLF was sent to try to catch him, as well as a seasoned LAPD detective, Lieutenant Mike Harrigan, eventually came into the battle with him. Harrigan, using the city hunter's own smart disc, killed the city hunter in close quarters combat while hiding in a city's underground within the mothership. So the second one died due to carelessness. Then we come to the AVP Youngbloods. Well, the predators sent to Earth to get rid of the Xenomorph outbreak were Youngbloods that were also on their mission to become fully mature blooded hunters. The three were Celtic, Scar and Chopper and were on their way to undertake an initiation hunt in an ancient predator pyramid beneath the ice on Bove Island in Antarctica. In stalking and killing Xenomorph prey, they hoped to become blooded Yautja. Celtic and Chopper were killed by a drone Xenomorph called Grid as it was just an experience that got them dead. As for Scar, he fared better and killed a lot of Xenomorph drones, but proved no match for the Queen Xenomorph, one of the most powerful variant of the alien species. Next, AVP Requiem, Wolf. This predator was a veteran and elite, one of the deadliest of their species that had many kills to his name and had a lot of trophies in his lair. Wolf was an elite and a very experienced and accomplished Xenomorph hunter as well. When Wolf came to Earth to get rid of the Xenomorph infestation that occurred in Colorado, there he killed quite a number of drones easily but had a setback in killing the juvenile Predalian Queen. Even with all his weapons and wits, he wasn't able to put down the Predalian and he was eventually killed while he was fighting the Predalian, killed in a nuclear explosion that eradicated all life in the small city of Gunnison. So even a deadly elite hunter was no match for a nuclear bomb. Then we come to the super predators from the movie Predators. There were two types of predators in that movie. We got to see a subspecies called the super predators that were bigger and physically stronger than the hunter version. There were three of them, Falconer, Tracker and Berserker. The super predators got humans and a few alien species to be brought to the game preserve planet for their hunting rituals. Eventually, during the hunt, they got overconfident and were all killed in the end. The tracker ignored all dangers and took his time to kill the Russian Spetnaz soldier who took his chance to detonate a number of grenades, taking out his own life and the tracker as well. The falconer was also careless and did the same thing, uh, underestimating the humans, and he dueled with the Yakuza using blades. The human got a quick strike that killed the predator at the cost of his own life as well. The Berserker proved to be more careful but due to a distraction of fighting against a hunter predator that was released, it allowed Royce to lay a trap for him, confusing his thermal scans with fire, effectually blinding him. But even with this, the predator almost won except for the lucky sniper shot by Isabel that maimed him, allowing Royce to get up and behead the Berserker and putting an end to it. Now we come to the upgrade predator. The Upgrade Predator was an amalgamation of various genetic enhancements into a normal Yautja which resulted in him not really needing weaponry for a hunt. The Predator 
was also very clumsy and overconfident with his bio cybernetic upgrades that he basically didn't really want to use any weapons or even stealth to a proper measure. To it, it served no purpose as he was bulletproof and was physically a behemoth compared to humans. But careless and underestimating the humans proved to be his downfall as they used the predator's own tech against it to decapitate his arm first, then his leg, and finally deliver headshots to it. So it was a combined effort of a group of humans, a predator hound, and the carelessness of the Yaoja, and also his own tech that killed it. And lastly, the feral predator. This latest predator was yet another subspecies that came down to Earth for its first time learning about the life forms here in this planet. Although a very deadly entity, he was still an unexperienced hunter. He had to inspect the food chain of the land in order to find out what creatures are on top. So eventually when he ran into humans, he at first underestimated them thinking they were dumb animals and then after suffering a few injuries from battle, he quickly adapted and learned to utilize his full talents to kill the Comanche warriors and also the French hunters. But luckily, due to the orange flower enabling people who eat it to lower their body temperature to a level of being invisible to thermal scans, Naru, a Comanche warrior, a female Comanche warrior, used it and laid a trap for the predator and eventually used his own bio helmet to kill him. But objectively speaking, the feral should have avoided his own weapons. But maybe he was shocked at the tenacity and ingenuity of a female human therefore catching a strange case of being dead. So the main reasons for the predator deaths due to humans were carelessness and underestimation, aside from the nuclear strike. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.